Welcome to Fearless Fridays. Uh -huh. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I have recently completed a 21 day reset challenge and that challenge has inspired me to do a new series on this channel where each week I will be putting out three different videos. So this is episode one of Fearless Fridays. Fearless Fridays are dedicated to being brave, being honest, being a person of integrity. In this video series, I will be uploading weekly videos that will talk about my weigh-in, they'll talk about my exercise for the week, and how I did in terms of tracking my calories. Yes, I'm going to be tracking my calories. So this is the first day of week one, and I'm gonna be very honest. Right, this is Fearless Fridays and it's all about being brutally honest with the people that watch my channel. I have not tracked successfully for the last two weeks at least. So after I made my last video, my day 21 video, I ended up going on a little retreat, a little getaway. It was a writing retreat, so it was very exciting. It was very relaxing. So I used it as an opportunity to be productive in other ways. That being said, I got back on Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday was a great day. I did manage to do some tracking that day, and I ended up uh, eating 1,500 calories, and my deficit for that day was about 1,000 calories. So I felt like, okay, this is good. Get back into the swing of things. I did weigh in that day and I, <laughs> okay, guys, it's shark week. So I want to preface it by saying it's shark week. I also, you know, I did not track, but I also didn't go too off the rails in terms of eating. So I'm not quite sure what to make of that number. I, I just, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. So I weighed in at 184 on Tuesday. That's like, that's a major, major gain. And that, I just, that obviously is not completely accurate. And so after a day of tracking on Tuesday and being in a deficit and probably just, you know, I, I probably just lost a lot of water weight. I have got back on the scale on Wednesday and I was 182, which is still like quite a gain from, you know, all the work that I put in with the 21 day reset challenge. But I guess I just really didn't feel depressed about it. I kind of felt like, yeah, that makes some sense. I am, whenever I am going through shark week, my body does tend to retain a lot of water and it can go anywhere from like a gain of three pounds to a gain of sometimes six pounds, which I do try to avoid weighing in during that week just because usually that kind of messes me up psychologically. But because I knew I was gonna produce this video today, I wanted to be honest with you guys and say like, yeah, that's just sort of how my body fluctuates. I'm sure many people watching this, most of you are, you know, you go through Shark Week. Um, you can relate to that. And I think it's just important to just kind of, like I said, take it with a grain of salt and just get right back into my new lifestyle. Like that's, that's really what I'm going to do. So I got on the scale this morning and my starting weight for just like episode one, week one of Fearless Fridays is 181.8. That it's a gain, obviously taking it with a grain of salt, but we're gonna put in the work for another full week of exercising every day and tracking my calories. And that's gonna really tell me, you know, how much weight did I actually gain uh, this last like, you know, week and a half or two weeks. So like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna not let it phase me. I don't wanna be defined by the number on the scale. I'm trying to be very gentle with myself and just acknowledge that sometimes being a woman is hard. And not sometimes, most of the time, it's pretty freaking hard. Uh, uh, uh. What I'm gonna do is continue with intermittent fasting. We're gonna call it IF from now on. So I'm gonna continue with IF and my fasting, or I should say my feeding window, don't like that phrase, but that's just what we're gonna call it, is between one and 9 p.m. or two and 10 p.m. So that, that's my goal, either two to 10 or one to nine. I as I mean, those of you who are watching who are like diehard IF people, you're probably like, well, you can't do that. You can't change it like that. But I, this is my journey and I'm going to kind of put some boundaries there, but not like restrictions. So I feel like I'm, you know, on the verge of binging or something. So that's just how it's gonna be for me. 
I am, more importantly than that though, going to be tracking my calories and my only goal, my only goal in life moving forward is to hit a deficit each day. So I'm gonna be using my Apple Watch because that has been very reliable. I will be tracking the total calories burned versus the total calories consumed. And I am going to do my very best to just hit a deficit. That deficit can be anywhere from 200 calories to 1,000 calories. I am just going to hit the deficit. That is my only goal. In terms of exercise, I will be closing my move ring every single day. That is my goal, my promise to myself, my commitment to myself. That might mean I use the Peloton bike. It might mean that I go for a walk outside. I am hoping to get back into jogging. And I do have a surprise for everybody, but I will not spoil that surprise until probably episode three, but it has something to do with jogging on a treadmill. Okay, that is it for this week. I will see you guys next Friday for episode two of Fearless Fridays, where I will weigh in and hopefully be back in the 170s. Uh -huh.